This is a quick overview of the Job Nimbus to QuickBooks integration. This integration is awesome because it saves you so much time and keeps you from having to double enter a lot of your records into both systems. Let's take a look. We do sync to most versions of QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. There are a few versions that we can't sync to. One is the Mac edition of QuickBooks Desktop. There's not a web connector for that. Uh, we also cannot sync to the self-employed version of QuickBooks Online. Um, there are some aspects of the non-US versions uh, that we can't support. So technically those are not supported. Even though we can sync to them, there are parts of them that don't quite work right. With QuickBooks Desktop, we can sync the following items. Customers and jobs, vendors, those are all contact information only, products and services, taxes, the invoices and estimates, credit memos and payments are all on the customer side only, and we can sync the classes and the sales reps. These do not sync to QuickBooks Desktop. Note that any expenses that you are accruing are not going through the sync, so job costs do not go through the sync. That includes the budgets, material orders, and work orders on the Job Nimbus side. We're also not going to touch any employee information, banking information, deposits, anything like that. Documents or notes don't go through, um, nor do sales orders or deposits. These items do sync to QuickBooks Online. Again, customers and jobs, your products and services are going to go through. Tax rates will come in from QuickBooks. They are generated there. We can also sync invoices, estimates, credit memos, and payments on the customer side. We do not sync the vendors with QuickBooks Online or any expenses or bills paid, including material orders and work orders again. Um, and similar to QuickBooks Desktop as far as bank and employee information, note that we do not sync anything from projects. We're unable to import anything that's created on a project. When we talk about the one-way sync versus the two-way sync, you can set your sync up um, either way. Two-way sync is preferred, typically. It means information will go both direction, but directions. This will act as a data migration tool, importing what's in QuickBooks into Job Nimbus, exporting what's in Job Nimbus into QuickBooks. With the one-way sync, information is only flowing in one direction. So you can put everything in Job Nimbus, it flows to QuickBooks, but nothing would come back, or vice versa, you could put everything into QuickBooks and it would go into Job Nimbus. Note that any edits or updates in that opposing system would not come back and update the original system. Workflow settings determines when customers are created in QuickBooks from Job Nimbus. Let's go ahead and take a look at those workflow settings now. You'll want to make sure before you ever sync to QuickBooks that you've reviewed your workflow settings. Yours may be on the contact. In my case, I am using jobs, so I'm going to take a closer look at my job workflows. We're going to check out residential today, edit, and you'll notice there's a send to QuickBooks column. This column and the settings therein determine at what point that job is created in QuickBooks. So a new lead is not going to go to QuickBooks right away. We're going to keep it here in Job Nimbus through that sales process. And once that job is moved to signed contract, that will be the point in which Job Nimbus creates that job contact information in QuickBooks for you. And it'll keep syncing going forward. Any invoices created thereafter will go ahead into QuickBooks for you. You'll notice that the loss status at the bottom is not set to sync. So any of those leads don't turn into jobs, can just go into lost. And those will stay here in Job Nimbus and never create a job you don't need in QuickBooks. So be sure to review those before you turn on the sync. If you do need to edit one of those, let's say I really need this turned on to go to QuickBooks back in this estimate stage, I can click that here and hit save and change that as I need to for my company. Let's take a look and see what this looks like after the sync is set up. We will start with QuickBooks Online. I have a contact by the name of Al Dente. We are going to invoice for one of his jobs. I'm going to go into the Financials tab. I've already got an estimate for this job. I'm going to go ahead and just convert that to an invoice. When I first create an invoice in Job Nimbus, it's going to create it in a draft status. That draft status is not going to sync to QuickBooks right away. It's kind of your approval 
opportunity there. But as soon as I want that invoice to sync, I'm going to go ahead and change that status to open. You can also email it, which will move it to sent. And if I click on that Y right now, you'll see that's now synced through to QuickBooks. So what does that look like in QuickBooks? Refresh my browser. In QuickBooks, not only have I got that invoice to come through, but the estimate, which was previously in draft status, has now been moved to invoice status. So now I can see the invoice and the estimate here in QuickBooks. Now, if I choose to bill the customer through QuickBooks or add payment through QuickBooks, um, that payment would then come back into JobNimbus as well, because I do currently have this set up on the two-way sync. Let's go back to that same job and see what happens when we create a payment. So I'm adding a payment. We're going to pay that invoice we just created in full. Now, because the invoice is already synced, that payment's able to go through right away. So let's go take a look in QuickBooks. So in QuickBooks, under that citing job, I've got the payment. It's come through. It's closed. It's applied to that invoice. You'll notice there's no longer a balance. Um, this payment is going to come into undeposited funds. So you will still need to go and do a bank deposit for that payment. You'll notice if you come into your undeposited funds screen, you're going to find the payment here. We're going to go ahead and deposit that into our bank account today. So we will add that deposit, and that money would go ahead and show up in our charge of accounts under the bank account. Let's take a look at what that process looks like with QuickBooks Desktop. I'm going to start from the top with this. We're going to create a contact in Job Nimbus. We'll forego creating an address for him. Now, when that contact creates, it's by default going to go to lead. That's my first status in this customer workflow. And lead is not going to go to QuickBooks due to its workflow settings. It's not set to sync because it's still in that, that sales process. So I'm going to go ahead and move that into signed contract. Now, this still will not sync until I run what's called a web connector. This web connector is what governs the sync between JobNimbus and QuickBooks, and everything must flow through that web connector to transfer. So I ran that web connector. You'll see that Richard Brown has popped into my customer list, and we are going to create a transaction for him. I do have the two-way sync in place, so I can create a transaction in either QuickBooks or JobNimbus. Now I want to see if that invoice creates in JobNimbus, so I'm going to run my web connector. Once that web connector is complete, I can go back into Job Nimbus and under Richard Brown. I do have to refresh my browser in order to see the transactions right after running your web connector, so know that. But here's that invoice that I created in QuickBooks. It'll actually let me know that it was created by QuickBooks, and it'll have all the information that I entered into that invoice in here for me. Now I can add a payment to this invoice from either Job Nimbus or QuickBooks, and it'll go back and up the other system. I can also add anything to this invoice. If I need to come in and add an item or add a, a credit of some kind, I can do that. Once that web connector runs again, it'll update in the other system as well. Saves you a lot of double entry. If you have any other questions on the QuickBooks Sync and how that works with JobNimbus, please visit support.jobnimbus.com for our knowledge base articles. There's an entire section on QuickBooks there for you, or you can also reach out to our support department with any questions that you have. Thanks so much. Have a great day.